After seeing this video on the internet, I thought I'd show you why you're instructed to not eat frozen food. I'm gonna take this to my lab and test it. As a microbiologist, I've never tested frozen pizza before, but I have tested other frozen foods, and they almost always have thousands of bacteria growing on them. That's because food you buy from the store are tested differently based on if they are ready to eat or not ready to eat food. Now what's interesting is that this pizza is USDA approved, which means they have certain regulations when it comes to bacteria. In this video, I'm showing you how the frozen pizza is tested according to those regulations. And here's something you might find crazy about those regulations. They don't have a legal limit to how much bacteria can be on this pizza because they expect all the bacteria to be eliminated in the baking process. However, they are required to make sure that there's no pathogenic bacteria in the pizza. And if any of that bacteria is detected, they typically just throw away that batch of pizzas. Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. Well, now I'm gonna throw these Petri dishes in the incubator and see what might grow. I took a time lapse of the bacteria growth and it appears that only one bacteria colony grew, which is very surprising. That is, until I took a closer look. I did further tests and it turns out when there are too many bacteria on a Petri dish, their colonies can be really small and hard to see. You can see that a little bit better on this Petri dish where there are some small colonies surrounded by even smaller colonies. And overall, these results tell me that there are millions upon millions of bacteria on this frozen pizza. And as a reminder, none of these are likely to be pathogenic, so the worst that would likely happen by eating a frozen pizza is that all that extra bacteria would likely upset your stomach. Now, the best part of this experiment is I get to eat the rest of this pizza, and a baked pizza has zero bacteria on it. 